Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about magnification factor. The magnification factor is basically the ratio of amplitude of steady state response to static deflection under the action of force. Now what is static deflection? Static deflection is the one in which a mass is acted upon by a static force by a linear force which is connected to a spring right so in this case if the uh, force is acting in this direction and if we want to find the deflection of the spring right or the deflection because of the application of force it will it can be given by f naught upon s right so this is the static deflection condition now steady state response is the one in which the forced vibration is there. If we draw the free body diagram, this is the lumped system where there is a mass with a spring and a damper. And if the force, a harmonic force is acting on the system, right? Let's say F naught cos omega t. So whatever is the response because of this, whatever is the displacement, maximum amplitude or displacement because of this force, the ratio of these two gives the magnification factor. Now we have already derived this equation x which is the amplitude in case of steady state conditions and what is steady state whenever we are giving forced vibration. Now what is forced vibration? We are giving the external force continuously to a system. So it is quite different from the natural vibration where we give force, uh, you know, we apply force on the body once and it vibrates on its own. So magnification factor, it also signifies the amplitude of forced vibration motion to the amplitude of static deflection as a function of frequency ratio. So we know for the static deflection, uh, the amplitude is F naught upon S and in case of steady state condition, this is the condition that we have derived. Okay, so I was telling that in case of the forced vibration system, when a force is being applied on the body, initially, this is the curve that we uh, expect it to follow when it is following some harmonic motion. But what exactly happens for certain duration of time, free vibrations are also there in the system, which dies out after certain duration of time. So after the free vibration factor, it dies out. This is the steady state condition and before this is the transient state condition. So this is the amplitude that we have found for the steady state condition and the ratio of these two gives the magnification factor. And this magnification factor is dependent upon two things. One is omega upon omega n frequency ratio and zeta which is the damping ratio. Magnification factor ratio factor which is omega upon omega n and the damping factor which is zeta we see that as the frequency ratio increases magnification factor also increases the second thing we see that when the frequency ratio is one that means when omega is equal to omega n magnification factor is not infinite now the reasons for not being infinite is because there are certain damping factors always pre present in the system which does not make the magnification factor infinite and secondly no machine can uh, you know uh, have the amplitude of infinity because it has got certain limits so when that limit exceeds when the amplitude increases or the frequency increases beyond the limit what happens it gets damaged so we do not see any infinite factors in this then we also see as the zeta increases, the magnification factor decreases. The maximum value of magnification factor decreases in that direction. So zeta is increasing in this direction. Magnification factor is also decreasing in this direction and vice versa. And we also see that the peaks of the magnification factor for various values of zeta, if you see, right? For these parts, when these, uh, this zeta is like uh, sm smaller values when it is like uh, less than around point, point 0.2 so we see that it lies on, on the you know, frequency ratio of the resonance condition but when zeta increases from point 0.1 or it starts increasing up to 1 we see that the peak of the magnification factor also starts shifting from this line from the resonance condition.